Welcome to the Casper channel where we try to find and tell you about promising in our opinion projects from the cryptocurrency industry. On our channel has recently already released a video about a blog dark project. And as for that video, it focused on the Keynote video, which aimed to introduce viewers to the BlockDark ecosystem, emphasizing its innovative approach to cryptocurrencies and mining technologies. And in today's video, I will try to dive you into the technical details of this project and talk about the white paper. Let's go to the website and start the review. And in the process of the review, we will smoothly move to the white paper. BlockDark is already actively going through the next stage of pre-sale, where you will be able to purchase their tokens in any way you like, namely with ETH, USDT, BNB, Visa, Mastercard, Google Pay or Apple Pay. All the other points on their website have already been dealt with in the previous video, so let me go straight to the white paper, which in this case they called dark paper. The paper starts with comprehensive security, scalability and decentralization. It talks about how blockchain networks have traditionally tried to balance these three parameters. Also, BlockDark is an innovative approach to address this problem and combines all these qualities. Next, it talks about the evolution of blockchain and rethinking DLT with BlockDark. Also, it traces the problem that as blockchain adoption has grown, where have been limitations in scalability and transaction speed, and directed a cyclic graphs or DAX for short, have emerged as a potential solution offering parallel processing and higher throughput. However, DAX often have to make compromises in terms of security and decentralization and find the perfect balance between transaction speed, security and decentralization. The white paper just discusses the algorithms that govern the creation and sequences of DAGs and explains how to the protocol provides security and scalability. And unlike conventional blockchains, DAGs are not based on linear blocks, but instead transactions reference previous validated transactions, allowing for parallel processing and potentially faster transaction speeds. As for block ducks, it is a hybrid concept that combines the functions of both traditional blockchains and ducks. It retains the advantages of ducks such as high scalability and faster transaction processing while integrating the security and trust of blockchain consensus mechanisms. Also, the white paper has a detailed description of the protocol, with all the technical diagrams and formulas that won't be clear to the average users. But this once again shows that the project is well thought out from a technical point of view. And in order not to make this video too long with technical formulas, I suggest you follow the link in the description and study this point in the white paper. And I, on the other hand, will go on to talk further about the content of the white paper in plain and simple language. Well, BlockDark puts a lot of emphasis in its project on scalability. And as you can see, a lot of information is given to this in the white paper. The BlockDark architecture provides internal scalability and the ability to parallelize data processing allows for increased throughput as the network grows, ensuring that the platform can adapt to growing demand. 
It also talks about BlockDuck coin, which has the acronym BDUCK, also its tokenomics and how to mine this coin. And to mine BDUCK on the BlockDuck network requires careful setup. The white paper provides detailed instructions on how to do this, and if you decide to go into mining, these instructions will definitely help you. Now let's focus on tokenomics. And here BlockDuck's total coin supply is 150 billion, indicating its rarity and commitment to preserving value and to maintain a controlled environment and prevent excessive inflation BlockDuck network implements a halving event every 12 months similar to Bitcoin. The distribution of tokens is very intelligently thought out, with 33% of the total allocated to the presale and 66% allocated to the community, where 80% of the tokens allocated to community are for miners, 15% are for community building, 5% for the liquidity pool and only 1% for the team. Another important factor of BlockDuck is its interoperability, which ensures smooth integration with dApps, allowing users to discover new features. The dynamic BlockDuck ecosystem is designed to provide a seamless platform for building decentralized applications. And whether users want to develop logistic solutions, financial applications or digital identity platforms, the BlockDuck architecture offers a complete set of tools and also APIs within a single platform. The BlockDuck project also has an ambitious roadmap, which is also described in detail in the white paper. A lot of work has already been done and the project looks really promising, as it has innovative technology with its own blockchain and mining, which is available to absolutely everyone. So, and this is where I think I can conclude this video. Today we have superficially covered all the key aspects described in the white paper. I recommend you read the white paper in its entirety yourself, because if you go through every page in detail in this video, it would be over an hour long and it wouldn't be interesting to watch. But I think that even from such a short review of the white paper, you can draw conclusions that the BlockDuck project is a really well thought out, both in terms of idea and technical realization. That's all. Bye.